Dancing playpen in the daytime Goosebumps rise at night And settle back down at sunrise So we are back from kayaking and it is only half past one and it feels like we've got the rest of the day just to enjoy. Adam and I were just having a conversation about our whole perspective of getting up early and going to bed early. Like for us personally, it's just such a nice way to live and we feel so much better for getting up early and enjoying the daylight rather than getting up late and then having evening hours. It costs 60 dirhams to go in a single kayak or 60 dirhams each to go in a double kayak. That's equivalent to 12 pounds, so a really affordable day. And also it's unlimited. So once you've got your kayak, you can be out kayaking for half an hour, five hours, as many hours as you like, up until 9 p.m. They were really hot on health and safety. They had lifeguards constantly going around, making sure that everyone was okay, um, and that everyone had their life jackets on properly and that type of thing. So that was really reassuring. They also had so many life jackets that were tiny, like so that Bonnie could even have one. But as you've seen, we decided to go really prepared and give Bonnie a fish slash mermaid style life jacket and bless her oh my god she looks so cute it was just such a lovely activity to do especially involving bonnie as well and it's just amazing to see all these places that are becoming dog friendly because so many of us have dogs and we love them just wanted to show you what i am wearing today so i have got on this really cool jazzy print oversized top this is from asos yeah, and then I've also got on a pair of black cycling shorts and then on my feet I've got on my New Balance. I then had it on with this strappy bag, which is such a good bag by the way. I love this bag. It surprisingly goes with a lot of stuff and it is roomy. And then I've got a hairband on my arm. That wasn't like a intentional thing, that, but um, actually is quite cute with all the pastels. I'm really on this whole neat hair business has left the chat. I don't know what it is, but overnight I've just changed my mind. I just don't want to have like perfect curled hair or perfectly straight hair. I just want this more beachy, relaxed look. I really, really want to get the Dyson Air Wrap because I just feel like that will make my hair, oh, amazing. But that is an expensive bit of kit, but we will see, we'll see what we can do. event today i'm actually going to the burj al arab uh, which i've never been to before so i'm really excited to see it and i am going there because liars which is a non-alcoholic spirit company is launching its spirits in the uae today which is the 22nd of march and i'm super excited about this one because as you guys know i don't really drink alcohol that much but sometimes i do feel like i want something that isn't a coke zero when i'm out so i'm really excited to try these drinks because i think that they will fit perfectly into my lifestyle um but i just want to show you what i'm wearing so so this is what i decided to go for i actually re-inspired myself to get this dress back on a couple of videos ago i showed you some of my favorite dresses and this was one of them it's a wrap dress um and it's got like little side slits as well i just popped on these little white triangle mules which i love these are from asos the dress is from monkey this super duper long belt is also from asos bag is asos I've had this for yonks i'm just about to grab a taxi now and i will show you what i get to 
I can't believe I've never been here before, especially seeing as I've been living in Dubai for nearly six months now. Yes, a gorgeous day and it's about half past three, so I think I timed it pretty well because the taxis change over at four o'clock, so it's really hard to get a taxi at four. I'm really excited to go in. I'm hoping there's gonna be other people there that are coming by themselves <laughs> because um, if not, it might be a bit of a loner, but we will see. Um, also, it's an absolute vibe here. It is very tropical, lots of bongo music, and it's just very bougie, to be honest. <laughs> changed into some comfies and I popped in to see a friend and I've also taken Bonnie out for the most glorious hour-long walk um, around the canal. I just got back and I thought I would show you what was in the um, Liars goodie bag. And first of all, I just want to comment on the colour scheme. I really like this navy and this gorgeous gold. It's just doing things for me, you know? The first thing in the bag is the Liars non-alcoholic cocktail drinks and it basically just talks you through all of the different cocktails that they have got within their entire range. I'll link their website below so you can check out all of the different drinks that they've got in their menu but honestly guys I just think that this is the future. I am I am really blown away by their concept but then I've gone there tonight and I've tried all of their drinks and I am obsessed. The second thing is a little bottle of the Liars Italian Spritz. I've also given you a little recipe card, which is super handy. And this is to make the Amalfi Spritz. And you basically need this, you need the non-alcoholic Prosecco, and you also need some soda water. It also tells you about which type of glass to use and what you might want to use as garnishing. But yeah, um, really, really cool. Um, I actually don't think I had one of these drinks tonight, so that would be cool for me to try and they also gave the non-alcoholic sparkling prosecco and i had this drink on arrival it was so cool actually and you basically rang a bell and then this little gold hand appeared through a picture frame and gave you your non-alcoholic prosecco as your welcome drink and it went down an absolute treat it tasted exactly like prosecco but without that oh i don't know how to describe it sometimes i drink prosecco and i feel it's a bit mm, a bit soury i don't know but this was just sweet and gorgeous and lovely so yeah i'm so excited to have one of these bottles at home and i can just pop the safe in one night for me and adam to enjoy and then the last and final thing in the goodie bag is a cocktail shaker it's gonna be too hard to show you i think but there is the letter k that has been etched into this cocktail shaker so it's really cool i think that's just a really lovely touch and a really nice gift that they've given me this personalized cocktail shaker which i actually really needed one so this is Perfect. And then the other thing I just wanted to show you, you might have already seen it. There was this really talented girl there drawing people. I just love how she did my dress. She popped on my little white shoes. She obviously put my name at the back, put my little drink in. And they also have this really lovely dried bouquet bar. So a girl popped together this little bouquet for me, gave it a little seal stamp. And this is the masterpiece. Just to give you guys some background about the brand so it's actually an australian brand and it launched in 2019 their whole ethos is to reinvent the way people drink and to give option to people who don't drink alcohol or want to drive and they also commented this evening on the fact that a lot of people are really taking into account what actually goes into their body these days and i can really relate to that last one because i go through stages of really looking after my body, being really kind of aware about what I'm putting into it, trying to be leaner, trying to be stronger. And I find that I stray away from that 
usually off the back of having a night out. And that's why I'm really interested in the whole of Liar's concept and understanding more about the brands and the, the products that they offer because I know what I'm like. <laughs> So I just want to thank Liars so much for inviting me. It was a really, really cool event. And also I met some really gorgeous, lovely, friendly people. There were definitely a couple of people in particular that were just very welcoming and lovely and made me feel really, really comfortable. So that was perfect. So anyway, I'm now going to cook Adam and I some tea and then I think it is time to hit the hay. So yeah, I will see you soon. Versace. We had it at the Palazzo Versace and our gorgeous friend Millie gave it to us as a moving gift. It was absolutely delicious. I honestly think this is the first afternoon tea I haven't completely finished. We have actually come away with two cakes in my purse. We made it! Woohoo! I don't want to lose my grounding So you catch me not responding I press my lips together so you don't find any answers yeah. I'm on my phone 6.30 Can't be texting you this early Cause I fall too fast and lose myself And I want this to last Hi everyone, so I am off to a evening meal at The Scene Which is in the marina And I just thought I'd show you what I am wearing tonight so this is the outfit. Top I've gone for this really cute, fun, satin halter neck top with this nice little frill detail around the waist. And then on the bottom I've gone for some black camo pants. And then on my feet I've got on these unreal orange and black shoes. These are from ASOS. I got them a good few months ago. Um, but tonight is their debut. <laughs> Cause I fall too fast and lose myself And I want this to last My friends, they see the patterns I say it's different but it's only faster How do I tell them? I don't wanna lose my grounding So you catch me not responding and I press my lips together so you don't find any answers I'm on my phone 6.30 Can't be texting you this early Cause I fall too fast and lose myself And I want this to last My friends, they see the patterns I say it's different but it's only faster How do I tell them that? The exception without repeating or just second guessing for weeks and I know. And we weren't even together, so I don't 